Sagrajatam Sahavana Ravanatam Vitam Sam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Shri Radha Krishna Padam Savana Lalita Shri Vishakhanvita Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Mathe Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Nami Thank you. 
Vishnupad Paramahansa Pripradakacharya Stotra Sipasri Suma Bhakti Vidanta Swami Prabhupada Kijai. This Khan founder Acharya Srila Prabhupada Kijai. Jayam Vishnupad Paramahansa Pripradakacharya Stotra Sipasri Suma Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada Kijai. Anantakoti Vaishnavindi Kijai. Namacharya Sridhari Das Thakur Ki Jai. Prem Seka Ho Si Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Srivas Adi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai. Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopinath Shamakunda Radha Kund Giri Govardhan Ki Jai. Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai. Navadweep Dham Ki Jai. Jamuna Mai Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Tulsi Devi Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Samveta Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Nitai Gaur Premanande Haribo, Todas las glorias a los devotos reunidos, Todas las glorias a los devotos reunidos, Todas las glorias a los devotos reunidos. Todas las glorias a Sri Guru y Sri Goranga. Todas las glorias a Srila Prabhupada. So thank you for joining us on this auspicious occasion of Sita Nomi, the appearance day of the eternal consort of Lord Ramachandra, 
Sita Devi. Gracias por unirnos a, a nosotros para este día tan importante de la aparición de Sita Devi, la consorte eterna del señor Ramachandra. En uh, Valmiki's Ramayana, Sita Devi is said to have been discovered in a furrow in a plowed field. En el Ramayana se dice que Sita Devi fue encontrada en un surco, en una cajita, en el campo. Uh, believed to be Sita Mari in uh, the Matila region of uh, present day Bihar. Es en la región presente que llamada Bihar. And for that reason, Sita is regarded as the, as the daughter of Bhumi Devi, uh, the earth goddess. Y por eso a Sita Devi se le llama como la hija de Bhumi Devi, la diosa de la tierra. She appeared as the daughter of uh, King Janak, one of the 12 Mahajans, uh, great authorities in Krishna consciousness, and thus one of her names is Janaki. Apareció como la hija del rey Janaka, que es uno de los doce Mahayans importantes en la conciencia de Krishna, y por eso uno de sus nombres es Janaki. So to begin, We shall read from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Lila, Chapter 9, Lord Chaitanya's Travels to the Holy Places. Así que vamos a leer del Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya Lila, 10, 9, las visitas a los lugares sagrados de peregrinaje del Señor Chaitanya. Text 2. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dwaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Rinda All glories to Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu All glories to Lord Nityananda Prabhu All glories to Sri Adwaita Prabhu And all glories to all the devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Todas las glorias a Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, a Sinityananda Prabhu, a Advaita Prabhu y a todos los devotos del Señor Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So now we'll skip ahead to text 178. Ahora vamos a saltar al 178. And I won't read uh, the Bengali much. I'll just read the translation. No voy a leer el bengalí, solo la traducción. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu arrived in southern Mathura from Kamakosti, he met a Brahmin. Cuando llegó Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu al sur de este lugar, se encontró allí a un Brahmana. The Brahmin who met Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu invited the Lord to his home. El brahmana que se encontró con Chaitanya Mahaprabhu le invitó a su casa. This brahman was a great devotee and an authority on Lord Sri Ramachandra. Este brahmana era un gran devoto y era una gran autoridad sobre el señor Ramachandra. After bathing in the river Kritamala, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to the brahman's house to take lunch. Después de bañarse en el río Kritamala, el señor Chaitanya fue a la casa del brahmana a tomar su almuerzo. But he saw that the food was unprepared because the brahmana had not cooked it. Pero vio que la comida todavía no estaba preparada porque el brahmana no había cocinado. Seeing this, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, My dear sir, please tell me why you have not cooked. Viendo, is, estos, viendo esto, si Chaitanya Mahaprabhu le preguntó, ¿y por qué todavía no has cocinado? It is already noon. Es ya el mediodía. The Brahman replied, my dear Lord, we are living in the forest. 
El brahmana contestó, mi querido señor, estamos viviendo en el bosque. For the time being, we cannot get all the ingredients for cooking. Por el momento no hemos podido conseguir todos los ingredientes para cocinar. When Lakshman brings all the vegetables, fruits and roots from the forest, Sita will do the necessary cooking. Cuando Lakshman traiga todas las cosas del bosque, todas las frutas, todas las raíces, entonces Sita Devi hará la cocina apropiada. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very satisfied to hear about the Brahmin's method of worship. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu estuvo muy complacido de escuchar sobre el método de adoración del Brahmana. Finally, the Brahmin hastily made arrangements for cooking. Finalmente, ya el Brahmana hizo todos los arreglos para cocinar. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took his lunch at about three o'clock. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tomó su comida como a las tres. But the Brahman, being very sorrowful, fasted. Pero el Brahmana se sentía muy apenado y ayunó. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked him, why are you fasting? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu le preguntó, ¿por qué estás ayunando? Why are you so unhappy? ¿Por qué estás tan infeliz? Why are you so worried? ¿Por qué estás tan preocupado? The Brahmin replied, I have no reason to live. El Brahmana contestó, no tengo ninguna razón para vivir. I shall give up my life by entering either fire or water. Voy a terminar con mi vida o entrando al fuego o al agua. My dear sir, Mother Sita is the mother of the universe and the supreme goddess of fortune. Mi señor Madre Sita es la madre del universo y la diosa de la fortuna. She has been touched by the demon Ravana, and I am very troubled upon hearing this news. Y ha sido tocada por el demonio Ravana, así que estoy muy en dificultad después de escuchar estas noticias. Due to my unhappiness, I cannot continue living. Debido a mi infelicidad, no puedo seguir viviendo. Although my body is burning, my life is not leaving. Aunque mi cuerpo está ardiendo, mi vida no, no se va. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu contestó. Please do not think this way any longer. Por favor, no pienses de esta manera nada más tiempo. You are a learned pundit. Tú eres una persona erudita. Why don't you consider this case? ¿Por qué no consideras este caso? Sita Devi, the dearmost wife of the Supreme Lord Ramachandra, certainly has a spiritual form of bliss. <laughs> Sita Devi, que es la diosa de la fortuna, es, eh, tiene un cuerpo espiritual lleno de bienaventuranza. No one can see her with material eyes, for no materialist has such power. Nadie puede verla con los ojos materiales, porque ningún materialista tiene este poder. To say nothing of touching Mother Sita, a person with material senses Cannot even see her. ¿Y qué decir de tocar a Madresita? Una persona con ojos materiales ni siquiera puede verla. When Ravana kidnapped her, he kidnapped only her material illusory form. Cuando Ravana la raptó, raptó solamente su forma ilusoria. As soon as Ravana arrived before Sita, she disappeared. Tan pronto como Ravana llegó ante Madresita, ella desapareció. Then just to cheat Ravana, she sent an illusory material form. 
y simplemente para engañar a Ravana, ella envió una forma ilusoria. Texto 194. Veda Puran Ete E Kahe Nirantara. Spiritual substance is never within the jurisdiction of the material conception. La sustancia espiritual nunca está dentro de la jurisdicción del concepto espiritual material. This is always the verdict of the Vedas and Puranas. Esto siempre es veredicto de los Vedas y de los Puranas. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. As stated in the Katha Upanishad 2, 3, 9, and 12, spirit is not within the jurisdiction of material eyes, words, or mind. Como has dicho en el Katha Upanishad 1, 2, 9, y 11, la, la forma espiritual no está dentro de la jurisdicción de los sentidos materiales de ver, escuchar. Spiritual substance cannot be seen by the unintelligent. La sustancia espiritual no está dentro de la posibilidad de los sentidos materiales de ver o oír. Because they do not have the eyes or the mentality to see the spirit soul. Porque no tienen la posibilidad de ver lo que es la forma espiritual. Consequently, they think that there is no such thing as spirit. Consecuentemente, piensan que no hay tal cosa como el espíritu. So, we know from Srila Prabhupada, from the Bhakti Rasamri to Sindhu, Nama Chintamani Krishnas Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Purna Sudho Nitya Mukto Vinatvam Nama Namina. Nama Chintamani Krishna, the holy name of Krishna is Krishna himself. Sabemos del Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu que el santo nombre de Krishna es Krishna mismo. Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha, it is the form of Rasa, the reservoir of pleasure. Es la forma de Rasa, la reserva de placer. It is Purna, complete. Es Purna, es completo. Shuddha, pure. Shuddha, puro. And Nitya Mukta, always free from material contamination. Y siempre liberado de toda contaminación material. Why? ¿Por qué? Because there is no difference between the holy name of Krishna and the possessor of the name, Krishna himself. Porque no hay diferencia entre el santo nombre de Krishna y el poseedor del nombre Krishna mismo. Now the question arises, since the Lord is spiritual and beyond the jurisdiction of material senses, how can one with materially covered senses touch or chant and hear the holy name of Krishna? Ahora surge la pregunta de por qué si Krishna está más, santo nombre está más allá de la percepción de los sentidos materiales, ¿cómo nosotros podemos llegar a estar en contacto con el santo nombre de Krishna, con Krishna cuando cantamos o escuchamos? In the next verse of the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Srila Rupa Goswami explains. En el mismo Bhakti Rasamrita, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Srila Rupa Goswami explica. Atasri Krishna Namadi Nabhavet Grayam Indriya Sevan Mukhe Hijivado Svayamevas Paratyadaha Ataha means therefore. Ataha significa por lo tanto. As in Atato Brahmajigyasa. Ataha therefore. That is because the holy name of Krishna Completely spiritual like Krishna, one cannot 
chant or hear the holy name, touch the holy name with materially contaminated senses. Porque es, por lo tanto, porque el santo nombre de Krishna es igual que Krishna, es completamente espiritual, no puede ser tocado ni, ni escuchado con los sentidos materiales. However, if we engage our senses in the service of the Lord, and the Lord becomes pleased with our service, then the Lord will reveal himself to us. Pero si ocupamos estos sentidos en el servicio de Krishna, Krishna estando complacido con nosotros, se nos revelará. In other words, although we cannot perceive the Lord with materially contaminated senses, the Lord can reveal himself to us when he is pleased by our service. Así, en otras palabras, aunque el Señor no puede ser percibido por los sentidos materiales, Él se nos revela a nosotros cuando está complacido con nuestro servicio. He can, make our, he can purify our senses and become visible to us. Puede purificar nuestros sentidos y se puede volver visible a nosotros. When even a sadhaka, a devotee who is practicing devotional service, cannot touch even the holy name of the Lord, how could a demon like Ravana see or touch Mother Sita, who is Cuando, yeah. Cuando un sadaka no puede ni siquiera con estos sentidos materiales poder entender, escuchar el nombre de Krishna, ¿cómo un demonio como Ravana iba a poder tocar a Madre Sita? How could a demon like Ravana see or touch Mother Sita, who is directly the spiritual energy of the Lord? Como un demonio como Ravana podía tocar a Sita, que es directamente la potencia espiritual del Señor? It is not possible. No es posible. What Ravana saw and touched was not the original Sita. Con lo que Ravana vio o tocó no era la Sita original. But it was a Maya Sita, an illusory representation of the original Sita. Pero era Maya Sita, una representación ilusoria de la Sita original. Thus, Lord Chaitanya was consoling the Brahman. Así Chaitanya Mahaprabhu consolaba al Brahmana. Don't lament that Mother Sita has been touched by the demon Ravana. No te lamentes de que Madre Sita ha sido tocada por el demonio Ravana. The demon Ravana could not even see her, what to speak of touch her. El demonio Ravana no podía ni verla, qué decir de tocarla. There is no need to lament. No hay necesidad de lamentarse. Text 195. 195. Vishvasa karaha tumi amara vachane punara piku bhavana nakari hamane. Translation. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then assured the Brahman, have faith in my words and do not burden your mind any longer with this misconception. Ms. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu le dijo al Brahmana, Ten fe en mis palabras y no sobrecargues tu mente más con todos estos pensamientos y estas concepciones. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. This is the process of spiritual understanding. Este es el proceso del entendimiento espiritual. We should not try to understand things beyond our material conception by argument and counter-argument. No debemos intentar entender todos estos temas con nuestro argumento y contra-argumento. Mahajano yena gata supanta. We have to follow in the footsteps of great authorities coming down in the parampara system. Debemos seguir los pasos de las grandes autoridades, Mahayena Gatasapanta, la sucesión discipular. If we approach a bona fide acharya and keep faith in his words, 
spiritual realization will be easy. Si nos acercamos a la charia y tenemos fe en sus palabras, la realización espiritual será fácil. So in the material world, everyone acts independently. En el mundo material, todo el mundo actúa independientemente. Actually, people are not independent, but they imagine themselves to be independent. En realidad, las personas no son independientes, pero se imaginan que lo son. They want to think for themselves, see for themselves, make their own decisions, make their own plans. Quieren ver por ellos mismos, pensar por ellos mismos, tomar sus propias decisiones, sus propios planes. Even when they come to the subject of God, they keep the same attitude. Incluso cuando llegan al tema de Dios, mantienen la misma actitud. I don't need anyone to tell me about God. I can think no, for myself. No necesito a nadie que me hable de Dios. Yo puedo por mí mismo. Or they may accept some authority according to their liking. O pueden aceptar una autoridad de acuerdo a su gusto. Many people go to various authorities and pick and choose what they like from each. Muchas personas van a diferentes autoridades y eligen lo que les gusta de, de cada uno. And in the end, they find confirmation for whatever they thought or wanted to begin with. Y al final simplemente encuentran confirmación de lo que ellos les gustaba en un principio. That is not the way to understand God. Esa no es la forma de entender a Dios. Rather, one must approach a bona fide spiritual master and surrender. Más bien, uno debe acercarse a un maestro espiritual fidedigno y rendirse. One must remain fixed in submission and obedience to the spiritual master and accept the spiritual master's instructions without argument. Uno debe mantenerse fiel al maestro espiritual y aceptar sus instrucciones sin ningún argumento. Of course, the whole process is based on faith. Por supuesto, todo el proceso está basado en la fe. Therefore, Lord Chaitanya's first words were, Vishvasa karaha tumi amara vachane. Have faith in my words. Por eso las primeras palabras de Chaitanya Mahaprabhu fueron, Ten fe en mis palabras. If you do, he told the Brahman, you will be relieved. Si tú lo haces, le dijo al Brahmana, serás aliviado. But if you don't have faith in my words, you'll go on suffering and nobody will be able to help you. Pero si no tienes fe en mis palabras, continuarás sufriendo y nadie será capaz de ayudarte. Text 196. 196. Although the Brahman was fasting, he had faith in the words of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and accepted food. Aunque estaba ayunando, tuvo fe en las palabras de Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu y aceptó la comida. In this way, his life was saved. De esta manera, su vida se salvó. So the Brahman was fasting because he thought Ravana had touched Sita and kidnapped her. El Brahman estaba ayunando porque pensaba que Ravan había tocado a Sita. He was ready to give up his life, but because he had faith in the words of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he gave up his misconception, took prasad, and saved his life. Pero sin embargo, como tuvo fe en las palabras de Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, él abandonó todas sus concepciones y eh, fue salvado. 197. After thus assuring the Brahman, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu proceeded further into southern India. Después de Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asegurarse al Brahmana, él siguió hacia el sur de la India. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Setabandhu, Rameshwar, where he took his bath at the place called Danus Tirtha. 
fue acetabando y ahí tomó un baño en este tinta. From there he visited the Rameshwar temple and then took rest. De ahí fue a visitar el templo de Rameshwar y luego fue a descansar. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. In this area there are 24 different holy places, one of which is Danus Tirtha. En este lugar hay 24 lugares santos y uno de ellos es Danus Tirtha. It is said that here, on the request of Ravana's younger brother, Vibhishan, Lord Ramachandra destroyed the bridge to Lanka with his bow while returning to his capital. Aquí se dice que fue donde el hermano más joven de Ravana, Vibhas, ¿cómo es Vibhasan? Bueno, él le pidió al señor Chaitani, oye, al señor Ram, que destruyera el el puente que habían hecho cuando él ya volvía hacia su reino y lo destruyó con su arco. So Lord Ramachandra had built a bridge uh, to Lanka, but Ravana's younger brother Vibhishan uh, re re requested Lord Ramachandra to destroy that bridge uh, while he was returning back to his capital of Ayodhya. El señor Ramachandra había construido este puente para ir a Lanka, pero Vivisan, el hermano de Ravana, le pidió que lo destruyera cuando él ya volvía, cuando Ramachandra volvía a su reino. Now it is said that when Lord Rama was on the way to Lanka, he worshipped a deity of Lord Shiva. Se dice cuando el señor Ramachandra iba de camino hacia Lanka, adoró una deidad del señor Shiva. Some ignorant people say because Lord Rama worshipped Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva is the supreme and Rama is subordinate to him. Algunas personas ignorantes dicen que porque el señor Ramachandra adoró al señor Shiva, que el señor Shiva es el supremo y que el señor Ramachandra es un sirviente de él. But actually the opposite is true. Pero en realidad lo opuesto es la verdad. Lord Shiva himself is a great devotee of Lord Ram. Lord Shiva mismo es un gran devoto del Señor Ram. Sometimes, however, the Lord likes to serve his devotee. Pero a veces al Señor le gusta servir a su devoto. As in the case of Krishna and Yashoda. Como en el caso de Krishna y Yashoda. Krishna used to obey the dictations of Yashoda, but that doesn't mean that Yashoda is supreme. Krishna solía escuchar y obedecer las órdenes de Yashoda, pero eso no significa que Yashoda fuera suprema o superior. Krishna used to carry the shoes of Nanda Maharaj, but that doesn't mean that Nanda Maharaj is supreme. También Krishna solía llevar los zapatos de Nanda Maharaj, pero eso no significa que Nanda Maharaj sea el supremo. Krishna drove the chariot of Arjuna, but that doesn't mean that Arjuna is greater than Krishna. Krishna también condujo el carro de Arjuna, pero eso no significa que Arjuna sea más grande que Krishna. Krishna washed the feet of Sudama Brahman. But that doesn't mean that Sudama is superior to Krishna. También Krishna lavó los pies de Sudama Brahmana, pero esto no significa que Sudama sea superior a Krishna. The Lord takes pleasure in worshiping his devotees. El Señor toma placer en servir a sus devotos. Lord Ramachandra wanted to glorify his devotee Shiva. Señor Ramachandra quería glorificar a su devoto Shiva. And therefore, he may have worshipped him. Y por eso le adoro. Other ignorant people say that because Ravana was a devotee of Lord Shiva, Rama approached Lord Shiva to ask his permission before killing Ravana. Y eh, por, también otra gente ignorante dice que porque el señor Ravan, o sea, Ravana era un seguidor adorador del señor Shiva, que el señor Ramachanda fue a pedir permiso al señor Shiva antes de matar a Ravana. 
Once at Juhu Beach, a disciple mentioned this idea to Srila Prabhupada. Una vez en la playa de Juhu, un, alguien le mencionó esta idea a Srila Prabhupada. And Prabhupada replied that people who say that Lord Rama had Shiva's permission to kill Ravana want to say that Lord Shiva is a rascal. Eh, la gente, el señor, si la Prapa dijo, la gente que dice que el señor Ram fue a pedir permiso a Shiva para matar a Ravana, en realidad eh, son, es un, dicen que el señor Shiva es un rascal. That he would give permission for someone to kill his devotee. Porque iba a dar permiso a alguien para matar a su devoto. Oh yes, he is my devotee, but it's all right. You can kill him. Oh bien, es mi devoto, pero está bien. Puedes matarle. Prabhupada said they want to prove that Lord Shiva is a rascal. Si la Prapa dice que ellos quieren probar que el señor Shiva es un sinvergüenza. Rather, Prabhupada said, and he quoted the Shastra, when Rama was in the process of killing Ravana, Mother Parvati asked Lord Shiva, Ravana is your great devotee and now he is in trouble. Más bien, cuando el señor Ramachandava estaba dispuesto a matar a Ravana, Parvati, la esposa del señor Shiva, pidió al señor Shiva, por favor, tu, tu devoto está en peligro ahora. Why don't you do something to help him? ¿Por qué no haces algo para ayudarle? And Lord Shiva replied, Lord Rama is the supreme personality of Godhead. Entonces el señor Shiva respondió, el señor Ram es la suprema personalidad de Dios. When he wants to kill Ravana, what can I do? Cuando él quiere matar a Ravana, ¿qué es lo que yo puedo hacer? So Krishna Mare Rake Ke, Krishna Rake Mare Ke. When Krishna wants to kill someone, who can save him? And when Krishna wants to save someone, who can kill him? Cuando Krishna quiere matar a alguien, ¿quién le puede salvar? Y cuando Krishna quiere salvar a alguien, ¿quién le puede matar? Text 200. Texto 200. Viprasabhaya sune tana kurma purana tara madye aila pavritara upakyana. Translation. There, among the Brahmins, Sri Chaitanya listened to the Kurma Purana, wherein is mentioned the chaste woman's narration. Allí entre los brahmanas, el señor Chaitanya escuchó la historia de Madre Sita, que cuenta la historia de Madre Sita. Text 201. Well, I'll just read the translations of these next verses. This is what the uh, Kurma Purana says. Esto es lo que dice el Kurma Purana. Himati Sita Devi is the mother of the three worlds and the wife of the three worlds. Sorry, Guru Maharaj, I missed that. Usted, usted va a tener que, uh, que quitar el teléfono. Va a tener que apagar su teléfono. Es que es la conversación de su teléfono. Shimati Sita Devi is the mother of the three worlds and the wife of Lord Ramachandra. Es la madre de los tres mundos y la esposa del señor Ramachandra. Among chaste women, she is supreme. Entre las mujeres castas, ella es suprema. And she is the daughter of King Janak. Y ella es la madre del rey, o sea, es de, del rey Janaka. O sea, la hija del rey Janaka, perdón. When Ravana came to kidnap Mother Sita and she saw him, she took shelter of the fire god, Agni. 
Cuando Ravana vino a Raptarasita y ella le vio, ella tomó refugio del Agni, del dios del fuego. The fire god covered the body of Mother Sita, and in this way she was protected from the hands of Ravana. El dios, así que tomó refugio del dios del fuego, y así fue protegida de las manos del señor Ravana. Upon hearing from the Kurma Purana how Ravana had kidnapped a false form of Mother Sita, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became very satisfied. Cuando él escuchó del, del, del Kurma Purana que Madre Sita había sido salvada de las manos de Ravana, por la, había real, realmente solo había raptado a Maya Sita, pues se quedó muy satisfecho. The fire god Agni took away the real Sita and brought her to the place of Parvati, the goddess Durga. Así que el dios del fuego cogió a la verdadera Sita y se la llevó a Parvati. An illusory form of Mother Sita was then delivered to Ravana. Entonces una forma ilusoria de Madre Sita fue liberada a, a Ravana. And in this way, Ravana was cheated. Y de esta manera, Ravana fue engañado. After Ravana was killed by Lord Ramachandra, Sita Devi was brought before the fire and tested. Cuando eh, Ravana fue matado por el señor Ramachandra, Sita fue traída delante del fuego y fue probada. When the illusory Sita was brought before the fire by Lord Ramachandra, the fire god made the illusory form disappear and delivered the real Sita to Lord Ramachandra. Cuando el señor Ramachandra trajo la Sita ilusoria delante del fuego, el dios del fuego cogió esta forma ilusoria de Sita y devolvió la verdadera Sita al señor Ramachandra. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard this story, He was very pleased, and he remembered the words of Ramdas Vipra. Y cuando Sichetanya Mahaprabhu escuchó esta historia, estaba muy satisfecho y recordó las palabras de este Ram Vipra. Indeed, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard these conclusive statements from the Kurma Purana, he felt great happiness. En realidad, cuando realmente el señor Chaitanya escuchó estas eh, ideas del Kurma Purana, estas conclusiones se volvió muy feliz. After asking the Brahmin's permission, he took possession of the manuscript leaves of the Kurma Purana. Tomando permiso de los Brahmanas, cogió estos manuscritos del Kurma Purana. Since the Kurma Purana was very old, the manuscript was also very old. Ya que el Kurma Purana era muy viejo, muy antiguo, pues los, los papeles manuscritos eran muy viejos también. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took possession of the original leaves in order to have direct evidence. Así que Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tomó posesión de los originales para tener una verdadera evidencia. The text was copied onto new leaves in order that the Purana be replaced. Ahí fue copiado, el Kurma Purana fue copiado en hojas nuevas para que fuera, pudiera ser reemplazado. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu returned to Southern Mathura, Madurai, and delivered the original manuscript of the Kurma Purana to Ramdas Vipra. Y entonces el señor Chaitanya fue al sur, Madurai, y le dio este manuscrito original del, del Baraja Purana al Ram Vipradas. And the next two verses are from the uh, Kurma Purana. Y estos siguientes versos son del Kurma Purana. And the translation is. La traducción es así. When he was petitioned by Mother Sita, the fire god Agni brought forth an illusory form of Sita. And Ravana, who had ten heads, kidnapped the false Sita. 
Así que cuando Ravana vino a raptar a, si, a Madre Sita, el dios del fuego dio la ilusoria Sita y así eh, fue presentada en realidad Ravana de diez cabezas solo pudo tener la ilusoria Sita. The original Sita then went to the abode of the fire god. Y la Sita original fue a la morada del dios del fuego. When Lord Ramachandra tested the body of Sita, it was the false illusory Sita that entered the fire. Cuando Ravana cogió así a Sita, en la falsa Sita, entonces la, la Sita verdadera entró al fuego. At that time, the fire god brought the original Sita from his abode and delivered her to Lord Ramachandra. Y luego después, pues el Señor, el Dios del Fuego, trajo a la diosa Sita original de su morada y se la dio al Señor Ramachandra de vuelta. So these two verses are taken from the Kurma Purana. Estos dos versos son tomados del Kurma Purana. Text 2.13. Ramdas Vipra was very pleased to receive the original leaf manuscript of the Kurma Purana. And he immediately fell down before the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and began to cry. Rambi Pradas estaba muy feliz después de recibir el, este original manuscrito del Kurma Purana y cayó a los pies del loto del señor Chaitanya y empezó a llorar. After receiving the manuscript, the Brahman, being very pleased, said, Sir, you are Lord Ramachandra himself and have come in the dress of a sannyasi to give me audience. Y entonces le dijo, eh, Señor, tú eres el Señor Ramachandra original y has venido aquí para darme tu audiencia. My dear sir, you have delivered me from a very unhappy condition. Mi querido Señor, me has liberado de una condición muy infeliz. I request that you take your lunch at my place. Te pido que tomes tu almuerzo en mi casa. Please accept this invitation. Por favor, acepta esta invitación. Due to my mental distress, I could not give you a very nice lunch the other day. Debido a mi sufrimiento, el otro día no te pude dar un, un, una comida apropiada. Now, by good fortune, you have come again to my home. Ahora, por mi buena fortuna, tú has venido de nuevo a mi casa. Saying this, the Brahmin very happily cooked food and a first class dinner was offered to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Diciendo esto muy felizmente, el Brahmana cocinó y le dio una comida de primera clase al señor Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu passed the night in the house of the Brahmin. Then, after showing him mercy, the Lord left. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Si Chaitanya Mahaprabhu pasó la noche en su casa y después de darle misericordia, se fue. Uh, the chastity of Mother Sita is glorified in similar terms in the summary of the pastimes of Lord Ramachandra in the ninth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Madre Sita también es glorificada en términos similares en el noveno canto de Srimad Bhagavatam. Because Ravana had been cursed by the anger of Mother Sita, his armies were vanquished and ultimately he was killed. Porque Ravana había sido maldecido por Madre Sita, al final toda su armada fue conquistada. Quote, Angada and the other commanders of the soldiers of Ramachandra faced the elephants, infantry, horses, and chariots of the enemy and hurled against them big trees, mountain peaks, clubs, and arrows. Angada y otros eh, comandantes del, del señor Ramachandra se enfrentaron con, ese, con Ravana y lucharon con ellos con todo tipo de armas que eran árboles, piedras y, y demás. Thus the soldiers of Lord Ramachandra killed Ravana's soldiers. Y así los soldados del señor Ramachandra mataron a los soldados de Ravana. 
who had lost all good fortune because Ravana had been condemned by the anger of Mother Sita. Que perdieron toda su buena fortuna porque Ravana había sido condenado por la ira de Madre Sita. Srimad Bhagavatam 9, 10, 20. Srimad Bhagavatam 9, 10, 20. Then after Ravana had been killed, his wife, Mandodari, praised the power of Mother Sita's chastity, addressing her husband. Eh, después de que Ravana había sido muerto, Mandodari, su esposa, alabó la grandeza de Madre Sita a su esposo. Navai Veda Mahabhaga Bhavan Kama Vasangata Tejo Nubhava Sitya Yena Nito Dasam Imam <coughs> Oh, greatly fortunate one, You came under the influence of lusty desires and therefore you could not understand the influence of Mother Sita. Y dirigiéndose a su esposo Ravana le dice, oh, oh grande, tú realmente cayendo bajo la influencia de los deseos lujuriosos, no pudiste entender la fuerza de Madre Sita. Now, because of her curse, you have been reduced to this state, state. <coughs> Ahora debido, a su, perdón, ahora, debido a su maldición, ha sido reducido a este, a este estado. Having been killed by Lord Ramachandra. Habiendo sido muerto por el señor Ramachandra. That's Srimad Bhagavatam 9, 10, 27. Esto es de 9, 20, 27. In his purport to this verse, Srila Prabhupada explains that any woman who follows the example of Mother Sita's chastity and service can attain similar power. En este significado se explica que cualquier mujer que sigue los pasos de la castidad de Madre Sita puede obtener también el mismo poder. And that, in fact, women should follow her ideal example. Y que en realidad las mujeres deben seguir este ejemplo, su ejemplo ideal. Quote, not only was Mother Sita powerful, but any woman who follows in the footsteps of Mother Sita can become similarly powerful. No solo Madre Sita era muy poderosa, sino que cualquier mujer que sigue los pasos de Madre Sita igualmente se puede volver muy poderosa. Whenever we find a description of ideal chaste women, Mother Sita is among them. Siempre que escuchamos de ejemplos de, madre, de mujeres ideales, castas, Madre Sita siempre está entre ellos. Mandodari, the wife of Ravana, was also very chaste. Mandodari, la esposa de, de Ravana, también era muy casta. Similarly, Draupadi was one of the five exalted chaste women. Igualmente, Draupadi era una de los ejemplos de las cinco mujeres muy castas. As a man must follow great personalities like Brahma and Narada, a woman must follow the path of such ideal women. Así como un hombre tiene que seguir los ejemplos de tales hombres ideales como Ram, Narada, eh, también las mujeres tienen que seguir el ejemplo ideal de Madre Sita. Uh, a woman must follow the path of such ideal women as Sita, Mandodari, and Draupadi. Las mujeres deben seguir los ejemplos de estas mujeres castas como Madre Sita, Mandodari y Draupadi. By staying chaste and faithful to her husband, a woman enriches herself with supernatural power. Por mantenerse fiel y castas a sus esposos, una mujer puede conseguir poderes sobrenaturales. Although Mother Sita was completely pure and chaste, some ignorant citizens of Ayodhya criticized Lord Rama for accepting her back after she had been abducted by Ravana. Aunque Madre Sita era completamente pura y casta, algunos eh, habitantes 
de Ayodhya la criticaron, la criticaron a señora Machanda por haber aceptado de nuevo a Madresita después de haber estado en la custodia de, Ra, de Ravana. And to preserve his authority as king for the benefit of the citizens, Ramchandra was obliged to consign her to the care of the great sage Valmiki Muni. Y para preservar su autoridad como rey, pues tuvo que dejar a Madresita a cuidado de Valmiki. By her transcendental qualities and devotional service, Sita Devi attracted her husband, Lord Ramachandra, the personality of Godhead. Por sus cualidades trascendentales, Madre Sita atrajo a la suprema personalidad de Dios, el Señor Ramachandra. After she completed her pastimes on earth, Lord Ramachandra remained absorbed in thought of her. Después de acabar sus pasatiempos en la tierra, el Señor Ramachandra quedó siempre absorto en pensamientos de ella. While perfectly executing his royal duties, Mientras ejecutaba sus deberes reales. Until he followed her to continue their eternal lila in the spiritual world. Hasta que le siguió a continuar su eterno lila luego en el mundo espiritual. And now from the next chapter of the ninth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Quote, being forsaken by her husband. Sita Devi entrusted her two sons to the care of Valmiki Muni. Uh, aquí en el noveno canto del Bhagavatam dice que habiendo sido abandonada por su esposo, ella confió, confió sus dos hijos a cuidado de Valmiki. Then, meditating upon the lotus feet of Lord Ramachandra, he entered into the earth. Y así meditando en los pies del loto del señor Ramachandra, Entró en la tierra. After hearing the news of Mother Sita's entering the earth, the Supreme Personality of Godhead was certainly aggrieved. Después de escuchar las noticias de que Madre Sita había entrado en la tierra, la Suprema Personalidad de Dios, el Señor Ramachandra, estaba realmente dolorido. Although he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, upon remembering the exalted qualities of Mother Sita, He could not check his grief in transcendental love. Aunque él es la suprema personalidad de Dios, escuchando las noticias de Madresita, no puedo, no pudo contener su dolor, eh, aunque él es la suprema personalidad de Dios, debido a su amor trascendental. So these two verses are Shrimad Bhagavatam 9, 11, 15, and 16. Este es del 9, 9, 11, 10, 15 y 16 del Bhagavatam. Of course, the Lord's grief upon hearing the news of Sita Devi's entering the earth was not material. Por supuesto, el dolor de que sintió el señor Ram cuando escuchó la noticia de que Sita había entrado en la tierra no es un dolor material. In the spiritual world, there are also feelings of separation. En el mundo espiritual también hay sentimientos de separación. But such feelings are a manifestation of the Lord's internal pleasure potency, Adini Shakti. Pero tales sentimientos son expresiones de la potencia interna de placer, la Adini Shakti. And they give rise to transcendental bliss. Y dan, un, dan surgimiento a un placer trascendental, bienaventuranza. Although they resemble the miserable feelings experienced by ordinary men and women who are materially attached to each other. Aunque se semejan a los dolores materiales que sienten las personas ordinarias en apego los unos a los otros. And Srimad Bhagavatam 9, 11, 18. Srimad Bhagavatam 11, 16, 18. After Mother Sita entered the earth, Lord Ramachandra observed complete celibacy and performed an uninterrupted Agnihotra Yagya for 13,000 years. 
Después que Madre Sita entró en la tierra, el señor Ramachandra mantuvo completo celibato y e hizo un agnihotra continuo por 13.000 años. After completing the sacrifice, Lord Ramachandra, whose lotus feet were sometimes pierced by thorns when he lived in Dandakaranya, placed those lotus feet in the hearts of those who always think of him. Después de acabar con este Agnihotra, el señor Ramachandra eh, colocó sus pies de loto que fueron traspasados por, eh, por las eh, guijarros en el, cuando estaba en el bosque de Dandakaranya, se puso esos mismos pies de loto en los corazones de aquellos que meditan en él. Then he entered his own abode, the Vaikuntha planet beyond the Brahma Jyoti. Y entonces entró en su propia morada, Vaikuntha, más allá del Brahma Jyoti. That's Srimad Bhagavatam 9, well, these last two, 9, 11, 18, and 19. Esto es noveno, 9, 11, 18 y 19. So there's an important lesson for all of us here. Hay una lección muy importante para todos nosotros aquí. Whether we are in the bodies of men or women. Ya estemos en el cuerpo de mujeres o de hombres. Sita Devi is the energy of Lord Ram. Sita Devi es la energía del Señor Ram. The property of Lord Ram. La propiedad del Señor Ram. And to take the property of the Lord for one's sense gratification is demonic. Y tomar la propiedad del Señor para nuestra propia gratificación es demoníaco. Ravana was a scholar. Ravana era un erudito. A devotee of Lord Shiva. Era un devoto del Señor Shiva. And he had many, many good qualifications. Y tenía muchas, muchas buenas cualificaciones. However, he had one fault that put him in the category of demons. Sin embargo, tenía una falta que le puso en la categoría de los demonios. He wanted to take the Lord's property and enjoy it for himself. Quería tomar la propiedad del Señor y disfrutarla para él mismo. We have sometimes discussed and maybe realized that people in Kali Yuga have two sides, the devotee side and the demon side. Nosotros sabemos que las personas en Kali Yuga tienen los dos lados, el lado de devoto y el lado de demonio. The demon side wants to take the property of the Lord and enjoy it. La parte del demonio quiere tomar la propiedad del Señor y disfrutarla. Like Ravana. Como Ravana. So we must be careful that the demonic side does not become predominant. Así debemos ser cuidadosos de que la parte demoníaca no se vuelva prevalente. Otherwise, just as Ravana and his whole dynasty were destroyed, our spiritual life will be destroyed. Porque así como Ravana es todo su reino fue destruido, nuestra vida espiritual puede ser destruida. So on this occasion, we pray to Mother Sita to bless us, to become pure-hearted servants like Hanuman, Lakshman, and Mother Sita herself. Así que en esta ocasión oramos para que Madre Sita nos bendiga, para que nos podamos volver así de corazón puro, como el Señor Ram, como Lakshman, y como Sita mismo. And to save us. Y que nos salve. Whatever Ravana-like demonic tendencies we have, let them be vanquished by her mercy. Que cualquier tendencia demoníaca como Ravana que quede todavía en nuestro corazón, que sea destruida por su misericordia. By her will. Por su deseo. So we may continue in our devotional service without any impediment para que podamos continuar en nuestro servicio devocional sin ningún impedimento. And ultimately attain pure love, prema. Y por último, obtener amor puro, puro prema. Our ultimate goal. Nuestra meta última.
Shri Shri Sita Ram Lakshman Hanuman Ki Jai. Jai. Shri Sita Nomi Ki Jai. Jai. So um, now we can have uh, questions and comments from the devotees. I will um, leave for, for a minute and I'll be right back. Ahora podemos tener preguntas de los devotos. Ahora mismo vuelvo. Jai Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. 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 Raghupati Raghava, Raja Ram. Patit Pavan Sita Ram, Raghupati Raghav Raja Ram, Patit Pavan Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Jaya Sita Ram, Sita Ram. Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Jaya Sita Ram, Raghupati Raghav, Raja Ram, Patita Pavana, Sita Ram. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. <laughs> so, uh, are there any questions or comments? Mm. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Please accept my dandar for now. All glories to Papa. All glories to you. Such a thank you so much for such a wonderful class. I have a question. I wanted to ask. Um, why is uh, appearance day of Mother Sita called Sita Navami? How is it nine days or she was born on the ninth day or something? Or, and what is the connection of Mother Sita with other, I mean, um, are the other devis like Lakshmi Devi, Durga, Kali, other devis are her manifestation or her incarnations also? Uh well, yeah, her appearance day is celebrated as Sita Nomi because she appeared on the ninth day of the month. And, uh, you know, she's a spiritual energy, like Srimati Radharani is a spiritual energy. So um, she's also spiritual. And um, Durga, you know, Parvati, Durga, Kali, they are the material energy. So, but then again, what is material and what is spiritual? I mean, inherently, Radharani is spiritual, Sita Devi is spiritual. But uh, Maharaj, sorry to interrupt you, but there's no translation being done. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yes, pause for translation. Bueno, eh, lo que en resume lo que Guru Madas explica es que eh, Sita Devi Radharani son la energía, o sea, es espiritual y las otras, como ha citado Gemagori Parvati, eh, Durga, pues son materiales. Pero bueno, ¿qué es espiritual y qué es material? Yeah, so. Um... You 
Yeah, so generally we worship the spiritual energy with the supreme energetic. Normalmente adoramos al supremo, a la energía espiritual con el supremo energético. Radha is uh, Shakti and Krishna is Shakti Man, the possessor of Shakti. Radha is Shakti, Krishna is Shakti Man, el poseedor de la energía. Del Shakti. Yeah. So we, we even though um, Radharani is spiritual, Sita Devi is spiritual, Lakshmi Devi is spiritual, we worship them with their uh, husband or a pro pro proprietor, we could say. So we worship Radha Krishna, Sita Ram, Lakshmi Narayan. Así, aunque Radharani, Sita y Lakshmi son espirituales, las adoramos con sus esposos o sus propietarios. Entonces las adoramos como Radha Krishna, Sita Ram, Lakshmi Narayan. Yeah, we don't worship them separately. No las adoramos separadamente. Otherwise, if we try to take the spiritual energy away from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then we become like Ravana and, and we get uh, the material energy. Si por el contrario queremos separar la energía espiritual de su propietario, nos volvemos como Ravana, entonces se vuelve material. Claro. <laughs> One one clarification, Gurumar. You said when this ma, um, Mahas, Maya Sita was uh, was taken away by Raman, and then um, she was again when there was Agni Pariksha, she returned. I mean, um, the real Sita went as Parvati when Maya Maya, Maya Sita went to Raman. So Parvati, but Parvati is a consort of Lord Shiva, right? And uh, Lord, how how do you how do we explain that? Um, well, <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure what the question is. Uh, yes, when when. When Ravana came, Agni, uh, the fire god, uh, took Mother Sita. Cuando Ravana vino, Agni, el dios del fuego, tomó a Madre Sita. And delivered the false Sita, or Maya Sita, to Ravana. Entonces dio la falsa cita o maya cita a Ravana. And then when uh, Sita was tested uh, in fire. Y cuando entonces Sita fue probada en el fuego después. Agni Dave took the false Sita or maya Sita and delivered the original Sita to Lord Ramachandra. Entonces Agni Dev, el dios del fuego, tomó la cita ilusoria y devolvió la cita verdadera al señor Ramachandra. Um, so yeah, it's mentioned that the fire god Agni took away the real Sita and took her the, to the place of Parvati, goddess Durga. And an illusory form of Mother Sita was then delivered to Ravana, and in this way, Ravana was cheated. Sí, es, es dicho que, madre, que Agni tomó la verdadera Sita y la llevó a, a donde está Parvati, entonces tomó la ilusor, una ilusoria Sita y se la dio al señor Ravana. So, um, I guess because 
We're in the mood of glorifying women. It's described as uh, the abode of Parvati rather than the abode of Lord Shiva, but the two go together. Eh, quizá estamos en el humor de glorificar a las, a las damas, entonces por eso se habla de que fue tomada a la morada de Parvati en vez de decir a la morada del señor Shiva. Just like we might say the home of Hemagori and not say the name of Vinod Vihari. Así como podemos decir la casa de Hemagori y no decir la casa de Vinod Vihari. But yeah, it's the same. Así es lo mismo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Darpan. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm just saying Darpan Verma has his hand raised. Yeah, we go in order of the, see, his hand was up before, then there are some other like, questions in the chat room. We'll come back to it later. Okay. Yeah, Darpan, can you speak now, please? Thank you, thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Thank you for an amazing talk. Uh, I really liked it. Guru Maharaj, sometimes uh, I, I, I usually come up with these questions uh, from other people that uh, Lord Ramchandra, uh, 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 instead of like sending uh, Sita Devi to, uh, uh, to, to, to some Rishi, uh, like Valmiki Rishi, why didn't Lord Ram punish those who were... Uh, saying that uh, Sita Devi is uh, uh, like polluted or something like that, corrupted, instead of like sending Sita Devi to the forest? La pregunta es que porque eh, a veces he escuchado que por qué el señor Ramachandra en vez de enviar a Sita a la casa de Muni Valmiki, por qué no castigó a las personas que estaban hablando mal de Madre Sita? You know, Lord Ramachandra was acting as the ideal king. El señor Ramachandra estaba actuando como el rey ideal. And if a king is uh, criticized by a citizen, the king should, you know, respond to the criticism as a humble servant of the citizens and not punish the citizens. Eh, si el rey estaba actuando como un rey ideal, si el rey es criticado por sus ciudadanos, él debe actuar como un humilde sirviente de los ciudadanos y no castigar a los ciudadanos. In fact, if he punished the citizen, it could make him look like he was guilty. En realidad, si hubiera castigado a los ciudadanos, hubiera sido como el, el sentirse culpable. Of doing something wrong. De haber hecho algo malo. So yeah, he was he was setting the uh, example of the ideal king. Él estaba siempre simplemente dando el ejemplo de un rey ideal. Yeah, the Prabhupada writes, it, you know, the ideal king or Brahman, uh, they have to be prepared to make sacrifices for the benefit of others. Si la Prabhupada te escribe como el verdadero brahmana o rey, debe estar capaz de estar dispuesto a hacer sacrificios por los demás. Therefore, they are exalted. Y por lo tanto, son exaltados. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, Mara, so I'll read from the chat. There's one uh, question saying from Govardhan Das, Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, how Lord Sita Ram Lakshman came in Jew Temple. Please share the pastime with us. Como el señor Sita Ram y Lakshman vinieron al templo de Yuhu. Puede compartir este pasatiempo, Guru Maharaj. Yes, well, uh, Srila Prabhupada discussed with me what deities we should have in, 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 the, in the temple. Si la Prabhupada habló conmigo de qué deidades debíamos tener en el templo. And, um, you know, I, 
he mentioned that, that there are a lot of um, devotees of Ram in Bombay. Y él citó que había muchos devotos del señor Ram en Bombay. And then we discussed uh, whether it should be just Sita Ram, Sita Ram Lakshman, Sita Ram Lakshman and Hanuman. And somehow I came up with Sita Ram Lakshman and Hanuman. And that's what we, that, that, that's what we have on the, on the Sita Ram altar. Y estamos hablando de si solo Sitarram o Sitarran Lasman, Sitarran Lasman Hanuman, y yo vine con la idea de Sitarran Lasman Hanuman, y así es como vinieron. Ok. Then there's another question of by, I can't see his name completely, is Harry. Uh, well, so he says, Hare Krishna Griya Swami, in the introduction to Bhagavad Gita, Srila Prabhupada writes, if one adopts the principles enunciated in Bhagavad Gita, he can make his life perfect and make a permanent solution to all the problems of life. This is the sum and substance of the entire Bhagavad Gita. Is it, uh, in, in conclusion, Bhagavad Gita is a transcendental literature which one should read very carefully. So my question is, how can I read Bhagavad Gita very carefully? Bueno, el resumen, ha leído un trozo de Bhagavad Gita. La pregunta es que cómo puede leer él el Bhagavad Gita cuidadosamente, cómo se recomienda en el Bhagavad Gita. Well, first you should read carefully in the sense that you should not be rushed but you should uh, carefully consider what you've read. Eh, primero puedes leer cuidadosamente en el sentido de no correr y, y ser cuidadoso realmente de enterarte de lo que estás leyendo. And um, His Grace Burijan Das has written a nice article on prayerful reading. Y, hay un, un artículo muy bueno sobre leer de una forma meditativa o de orando, ¿no? Esto es eh, por Burillandas. Bravo. And the idea is that while you're reading, you should be praying to Srila Prabhupada to um, guide you, to give you instructions that will be useful to you. That you can apply in your life. Y es que cuando tú estás leyendo debes estar orando así la Prabhupada que te dé instrucciones a ti personales para que puedas realmente servirle. And then the other way is um, to like have a reading group, be part of a reading group. Y también es bueno ser parte de un grupo de lectura. And you read together and you discuss what you've read. Y leer juntos y discutir lo que habéis leído. And it's like churning the nectar. Es como batir el nectar. So yeah, it's very important that we study Shiva Prabhupada's books carefully. Así es muy importante que estudiemos los libros de Sila Prabhupada cuidadosamente. Beginning with the Bhagavad Gita, as you mentioned. Empezando con el Bhagavad Gita, como tú has mencionado. Okay, so I think we have two hands up. One was mine, which is a bit earlier, but I can let Manohar Govindadas say it early, and then I'll keep it for last. <laughs> okay, so Govindadas, Manohar Govindadas, you can uh, put your, you can connect your mic. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, please accept our respectful obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you, Guru Maharaj, for a wonderful and uh, insightful class. We learned so many wonderful points. Um, the points that stood out for ourselves, Kirti Pradhan, myself, is um, pertaining to Lord Krishna, how he treats his devotees with so much love and devotion and how he shows us by his own example 
how we should treat others as well. So it just reminds me of like the verse in Shikshashtakam that one should not respect or should not demand any respect for oneself. Is that the correct interpretation, uh, Marat? Yeah. That's and, and how can we also develop that, that, that inner mood ourselves? Is that something, um, how, how can we aspire to be, to follow in the footsteps of the Acharyas and, and the Lord and learn from his example? Thank you, Guru Mark. Bueno, en resumen, lo que ha preguntado es que de lo que usted ha estado leyendo, la clase tan bonita que ha dado, de lo cómo Krishna es tan amoroso con sus devotos, cómo se trata con sus devotos y luego cómo en el Sisasta cabemos este verso que no debemos, si nosotros debemos seguir ese ejemplo del señor Krishna, que él dice que no debemos demandar respeto de nadie. So yes, uh, being humble is uh, essential for spiritual advancement. Sí, el ser humilde es esencial para la vida espiritual. And um, when I first joined the temple in Boston, I was told, uh, you know, that we address one another as Prabhu, which means master. Cuando yo me uní al templo de Boston, se me enseñó que unos a otros nos debíamos dirigirnos como Prabhus, que significa maestro, amo. So if the other is master, then what does that make me? It makes me servant. Pues si el otro es el amo, ¿qué me hace a mí? Yo soy el sirviente. And I was also told that Srila Prabhupada said that if, if anyone asks you to do any service, you should always agree. Y también si la Prabhupada nos enseñó, se me dijo que si la Prabhupada decía que si alguien nos pide un servicio, siempre debemos estar de acuerdo en hacerlo. And if anyone offers to do any service for you, you should refuse. Y si alguien se ofrece hacer un servicio por ti, debes rehusar. And that way we develop the mood of being uh, servants, humble servants. Yes. Y así desarrollamos el humor de ser humildes sirvientes. And um, like developing any good quality, there are two aspects to the uh, effort. Para desarrollar cualquier buen, buena cualidad, hay dos aspectos para desarrollarla. One is uh, offenseless chanting and hearing. Una es el canto sin, y escucha sin ofensas. Uh, that cleanses the, the mind, cheto darpano marginum. Que limpia la mente. And our good qualities um, become manifest. Y así nuestras buenas cualidades se manifiestan. And the other is by making a conscious effort. Y la otra es por hacer un esfuerzo consciente. Like once I was present uh, with His Holiness Radhana Swami in, in, in his room at Chopati, and someone asked him how he, how he became so humble. Como una vez yo estaba con su entidad Radhana Swami en su habitación y alguien le preguntó cómo se había vuelto tan humilde. And he said, by practice. Y él contestó por la práctica. So yeah, practice makes perfect. Así que la práctica hace que uno se perfeccione. Even in spiritual life. Incluso la vida espiritual. Does that uh, answer your question? Responde yes, yes, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much, Marge. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Mm, Maharaja, uh, there is another uh, question in the chat from Alicia's iPhone. It says, Dear Maharaj, how can we maintain eagerness in devotional service? ¿Cómo podemos mantener el deseo en el servicio devocional? Yes. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to uh, 
uh, e equate eagerness with enthusiasm. They are more or less the same. Voy a comparar el deseo con el entusiasmo, que prácticamente es lo mismo. And Srila Prabhupada said that we, that we develop enthusiasm uh, by following all the regulated principles strictly. Y Srila Prabhupada dijo que podemos desarrollar nuestro entusiasmo por seguir los principios regulativos estrictamente. And another answer to any good quality is, is by association. Y también otra respuesta es, para cualquier cualidad es por, por la asociación. If you want to develop uh, enthusiasm, you okay. associate with devotees who are enthusiastic. Si quieres desarrollar entusiasmo, pues asociate con devotos que son entusiastas. Uh, yeah, and their enthusiasm or eagerness uh, can... Um, be contagious. Y su entusiasmo, su ansiedad por servir puede ser contagiosa. Yeah. Uh, on the subject of sincerity, Srila Prabhupada gave um, different answers how we can become sincere. En el tema de la sinceridad, si la Prapa dio otra respuesta de cómo nos podemos volver sinceros. One answer he gave was um, by following all of his instructions, however big or small. Una respuesta fue por seguir todas sus instrucciones, no importa que grandes o pequeñas sean. And another instruction was to associate with uh, devotees who are sincere. Y otra respuesta es por asociarse con devotos que son sinceros. So, we, by associating with and serving devotees who have qualities that we want, we, we get those qualities. Por asociarnos con devotos que tienen las cualidades que queremos, obtenemos, esa, desarrollamos esas cualidades. Okay, Maharaj, so there's uh, one more question from Vrindavan Chandra. He says, Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Lakshman felt that Lord Rama acted unjustly towards Sita Devi on a few occasions, and he tried to protect, protest, but he had to concede because he was younger. Therefore, he wanted to be the older brother in the future. Some people also consider some of Lord's actions a bit harsh towards Mother Sita. How should we respond to such points? Uh, Rindavan Chandra, you're with us on, on Zoom. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. So um, I'm not. I'm not getting. When you say respond, what what do you mean? I mean, how should we take it or? How should we respond to people who ask? Yes, Kumar, how should we respond to people who ask in that way? Yeah, well, Lord Ramachandra was uh, acting as the ideal king and he had to be beyond suspicion. El señor Ramachandra estaba actuando como rey ideal, tenía que actuar más allá de cualquier sospecha. And so, to, to preserve the faith of the citizens in him as the king, he banished Sita Devi. Y para preservar la fe que los ciudadanos tenían en él, tuvo que, eh, que abandonar a Sita Devi placed her in, in the charge of uh, Valmiki Muni. O ponerla a cuidado de Valmiki Muni. In fact, the whole Ramayana is full of ideals. En realidad, todo el Ramayana está lleno de ideales. Uh, Lord Ramachandra was the ideal king, ideal son, ideal husband, Ideal in every respect. 
El señor Ramachandra era el rey ideal, el, ide, el hijo ideal, el esposo ideal, ideal en todo aspecto. And Sita Devi was the ideal wife. Sita Devi era la esposa ideal. And as the ideal wife, she followed him in, in, into the jungle. Como esposa ideal, le siguió al, en el bosque. Um, Lord Ramachandra discouraged her. Señor Ramachandra primero la desanimó. He said, you are uh, a princess. Tú eres una princesa. You are not used to such hardships as you will face in, in the forest. No estás acostumbrada a las dificultades que vas a encarar en el bosque. So you can stay back. Puedes quedarte en casa. You, you can stay with your father, King Janak. Puedes quedarte con tu padre, el rey Janaka. And he said, you're beautiful. And, in, you know, in the forest, someone may try to abduct you. And it actually happened. Tú eres muy bella y alguien te puede intentar raptar en el bosque y luego en realidad ocurrió. But as the ideal wife, she followed her husband in, in all circumstances. Pero como esposa ideal, siguió a su esposo en cualquier circunstancia. And she also followed, you know, as the ideal wife, she also followed his... his, his I couldn't hear Guru Maharaj the last part with the noise. Yes. So, as the ideal wife, she followed him into the forest. And also, as the ideal wife, she followed his instruction uh, to, to, to leave Ayodhya and stay with Valmiki Muni. Sí, como esposa ideal le siguió al bosque, también como esposa ideal siguió sus instrucciones de irse a con Valmiki Muni. So these are all lilas or pastimes. Todo esto son pasatiempos. That are meant to show us how we have to be prepared to sacrifice. Que están hechos para enseñarnos cómo debemos estar listos para sacrificarnos. Lord Ramachandra sacrificed Sita's association for the sake of, of preserving the citizens' faith in him as the king. El señor Ramachandra renunció a la compañía de Sita para mantener la fe de los ciudadanos en él como rey. And she accepted being, Sita accepted being banished um, in order to support her husband. Y Sita también aceptó el ser abandonada para así poder apoyar a su marido. So that he could, you know, discharge his duties as the king without any impediment. Para poder hacer sus deberes como rey sin ningún impedimento. So that's, as I said earlier, you know, when one is in a position of leadership, one has to be prepared to make sacrifices. Como está dicho antes, cuando uno está en la posición de liderazgo, tiene que estar listo a hacer sacrificios. So, Hare Krishna Maharaj, sorry. Uh, actually, there was one question previously. I mean, before with Navan Chandra, I skipped that question. It was from Kunti Devi Dasi. I'll read out. I think it's a similar to what Pindavan Chandra said, but you just you decide. He says, Lord Rama, as an ideal king, had to respond to the criticism of a citizen. Should a practicing devotee also respond to criticism, or should a devotee tolerate and not try to respond? La pregunta es que si un devoto debe tolerar, como hizo el señor Rama Chandra, y no responder simplemente cuando hay críticas. That would very much depend on the situation. Eso depende mucho de la situación. We, we have the example of um, Lord Rama, who, who responded. 
Tenemos el ejemplo del señor Rama, cómo respondió. But sometimes, uh, Srila Prabhupada, yeah, I mean, Srila Prabhupada was also conscious of people's opinions. Y la Prabhupada también era consciente de las opiniones de las personas. Like, he would complain that he, because every afternoon, at least in Juhu, every afternoon he would have darshan. La Prabhupada cada tarde en, en Juhu tenía darshan. And anyone could come and see him. Cualquiera podía venir y verle. But Srila Prabhupada, you know, considered it more or less a waste of time. Srila Prabhupada lo consideró una pérdida de tiempo. He said people would come and say, Swamiji, how is your health? La gente vendría y le preguntaba, Swamiji, ¿cómo está su salud? And he said, anyone can see that my health is not good. Cualquiera puede ver que mi salud no está bien. But they come and waste time, you know, Swamiji, how is your health? Pero vienen y pierden mi tiempo preguntando cómo está su salud. So he spoke about um, stopping the darshan. Habló de parar los darshans. But then he said if, if he stopped the darshan, people would say, oh, Swamiji has become puffed up. He's, he's too big for us. Pero la gente pensó, la gente entonces puede pensar que, que si la Prabhupada se ha vuelto orgulloso, que es demasiado grande para nosotros. The, the darshan time. Entonces vino en el momento del darshan. Out of consideration of people's sentiments. Es simplemente en consideración de los sentimientos de las personas. So that's one situation. Esa es una situación. But Srila Prabhupada would also quote the saying that, uh, that the dogs will bark, but the caravan will pass. Pero también Srila Prabhupada decía el dicho de que los perros ladran, pero la caravana pasa. So there, 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 there's that mood also. También está ese, ese humor. And it depends on how important Uh, the, the, the principle is that uh, Srila Prabhupada wanted to um, establish. And it depends on how important the principle that Srila Prabhupada wanted to establish. For example, he wanted to establish that, you know, foreigners could be, uh, could become Brahmins and sannyasis. Por ejemplo, quería establecer que los extranjeros podían volverse brahmanas y sannyasis. And uh, orthodox Hindus in India complained. Y los hindus ortodoxos de la India protestaron. Some orthodox Hindus met him in Hyderabad and they, they, they accused him that you're doing the greatest disservice to Hinduism by making foreigners brahmanas and sannyasis. Y estos eh, brahmanas ortodoxos eh, se le encontraron en Heidel para Prabhupada y le dijeron que estaban haciendo el peor servicio a la, a, a la India por convertir a estos extranjeros en brahmanas. That was very important for his mission. Pero esto era muy importante para su misión. So he didn't respond to their complaints or criticism. Así que no respondió a sus protestas o críticas. But if it was a, if it was a small matter that he could, you know, satisfy someone by making a little sacrifice, uh, he, he would do that sometimes. Pero si era una cuestión pequeña que podía sacrificar algo para complacer a las personas, pues hacía ese sacrificio. So yeah, it really depends on the situation. Así que depende realmente de la situación. He also told a story that shows that you can't please everyone. También contó la historia de que no podemos complacer a todos. There was a, a, a father and his son and a donkey. Había un padre con su hijo y un burro. 
So at first the father and the son were, were, um, were riding on the donkey. Primero el padre y el hijo iban montados en el burro. But someone criticized, oh, the poor donkey, the two of you are, 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 are putting so much weight on it. Pero la gente criticaba, pobre burro, que le estáis poniendo tanto peso encima. So then the, um, the, the father got down. Entonces el padre se bajó. Then someone criticized the son, oh, your father is walking and you're sitting on the donkey? It should be the other way. Pero entonces la gente criticaba, oh, tu padre está andando y tú estás en el burro, debería ser al revés. And then someone criticized the father, oh, you're, you're riding on the donkey and your son is walking? He should be riding on the donkey. Y luego le criticaban al padre, ¿por qué vas en el burro y el niño andando? So then they decided they'll both walk. Así que decidieron que ambos iban a caminar. And then someone criticized, what fools you are. You, you have a donkey, but you're not riding on it. Y entonces la gente criticó, qué tontos sois, tenéis un burro y no vais encima. So, you know, Prabhupada told that story, like, you can't please everyone. Prabhupada contó esta historia que no se puede complacer a todos. Yeah, someone will find some fault somewhere. Alguien va a encontrar falta en algún sitio. If you know, be hurry, unmute, please. Yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. So in all right now, there are like two questions on the chat line and two with the hands raised. So I'll go on the order of the first come first basis. So first is from the Facebook now. There's a question coming to Facebook because it's being transmitted also in the Facebook. It says, question from Krishna Primavati Devi Dasi. She says, was the false Sita Maya Devi? Yes. La, pregun la oh. pregunta es si Maya Sita eh, era la falsa Sita, era Maya Devi. Well, it depends how you, how you define Maya Devi. Depende de cómo definas a Maya Devi. I mean, she wasn't Maya Devi in the sense of, um, like, uh, you know, Durga is Maya Devi. No era Maya Devi en el sentido como Durga es Maya Devi. But she was a Maya Sita in the sense that she was an illusory Sita, not the original Sita. Pero era maya sita en el sentido de que era una sita ilusoria, no la verdadera. Okay, so Maharaj, uh, now I think I'll take in Malati Dasi. She's from India, I suppose, so she must be late for her. She can connect now and, and question. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All the best to Shri Prabhupada. All the best to your family. Uh, Guru Maharaj, as you said that um, if someone has to get some quality from a devotee, then you have to serve that devotee to get that quality. But if you are serving a materialist and you don't want their qualities and you have to serve them, then how does that work, Guru Maharaj? La, la pregunta es que si quieres obtener las cualidades de un gran alma, debes servirle. Pero si estás sirviendo a los materialistas y no quieres obtener sus cualidades, ¿cómo puedes hacer? Yeah, that's a very good question. Muy buena pregunta. She's saying that we, we, that we develop the qualities of, of the people we serve. Está diciendo cómo desarrollamos las cualidades de las personas a las que servimos. So if we serve someone whose qualities we want, that's very good. We'll, we'll get, we'll develop those desirable qualities. Así si servimos a alguien que queremos esas cualidades, pues es muy bueno porque vamos a desarrollarlas. But what if circumstantially we have to serve someone whose qualities we don't want? Pero, ¿qué ocurre si tenemos que servir a alguien cuyas cualidades no queremos? 
Like we might have to serve some materialistic person. Ten, quizá tengamos que servir a una persona materialista. And uh, Srila Prabhupada gave a, a beautiful answer to that question. Sí, la Prapa dio una bella respuesta a esa pregunta. Once someone uh, noticed that Srila Prabhupada's disciples in Mayapur were giving a special treatment, preferential treatment to rich people. Una vez vieron que los devotos en Mayapur estaban dando como privilegio a las personas ricas. And, you know, he was, he was saying, in effect, they should uh, treat everyone equally. Pero entonces dijeron que se tenía que tratar a todos igualmente. And, uh, and Srila Prabhupada told the story, that some of you may know it, of the husband who wanted to enjoy with a very famous and expensive prostitute. Sí, la Prabhupada contó la historia, algunos la podéis conocer, de cómo eh, un, un, es, un esposo que quería disfrutar con una famosa prostituta. And there is no way that, that he could afford to, to have a night with her. Y no había manera que realmente él pudiera conseguir el pasar una noche con ella. So his wife became a servant of the prostitute. Así que su esposa se volvió una sirvienta de esa prostituta. And by serving the prostitute, eventually she, um, you could say, earned so much credit that um, her husband was able to spend a night with the prostitute. Y por servir a la prostituta, ella consiguió tanto crédito que al final su esposo pudo pasar una noche con la prostituta. So you can say that the, that, that the wife was serving the prostitute. Entonces, se puede decir que la esposa estaba sirviendo a la prostituta. But actually, she wasn't. Pero en realidad no lo estaba haciendo. She was serving her husband. Estaba sirviendo a su esposo. So in the same way, Prabhupada was saying that, yes, his disciples might be, might apparently be serving these uh, rich people, but actually they're, they're serving Krishna. Y si la Prabhupada quiso explicar que como sus discípulos podía parecer que estaban sirviendo a estas personas ricas, pero no, en realidad estaban sirviendo a Krishna. Yeah, so I'm sure that's your motive. <laughs> Así que asegúrate que ese es tu motivo. Okay, so there is another question in, from Rajendra Nandana. He says, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, in your book, I'll build you a temple. While they were doing the excavation, they saw a signboard about this site was the temple of Sita Ram. May you relate that, Guru Maharaj? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, what Rajendra Nandana Prabhu that is true, and I'm glad he's reading the book. Lo que Brian Nanana dice es verdad, y estoy contento que esté leyendo el libro. Yeah, well, while we were excavating to, for the foundation of the temple, we found an old a plaque that indicated that, there, that previously there was a temple there. Cuando estábamos excavando, ahí en Yuhu, vimos que había una vieja placa que ponía que eso había sido un templo, un, un ciclo de Sitaram, sí. Yeah, it, it seems there was a, a Sitaram Sita were there on the same spot where we later installed Sitaram, Lakshman and Hanuman. Que en realidad antes ahí había un templo de Sitaram donde luego nosotros también instalamos Sitaram, Lakshman y Hanuman. Okay, Maharaj, so then there's another, uh, it's, uh, yeah, from, it says Alicia. She says, Hare, and dear Maharaj, I'm expecting a baby boy soon. Please bless the soul so that he can possess your divine attributes and have same Rupat Nishta like you. <laughs> Where is she on Zoom? Uh, yes, yes, she's on Zoom, yeah. Let's see her. 
let's see here. Let's see. Come on, let's. Alicia, can you come unmute your phone, please? Yeah, please okay. unmute. We see you. Yeah, but... Sorry, I was on mute. Okay. So you're expecting a child? Yeah, Maharaj. In July. And you want the child to, to be a good devotee? Uh, yes, Maharaj. Following in your footsteps. <laughs> well, I will pray. And actually, I could give you some good advice coming from Sri Prabhupada. Okay. If I have if I have your email address. Sure, Maharaj. I'll post should I post it on the chat? Oh I guess so, but how would I get it from the chat? Can I like co copy it and paste it? Yeah, yeah, it can be done. We huh? we will we'll do the copying in the meantime and send it to you on email. Yeah, Perfect. I'm just writing it now. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Wonderful. Where are you, Alicia? Uh, I'm in uh, London, Maharaj. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just sent my ID. I, I hope to follow all the instructions you Daddy. sent out in the mail. And I always love listening to your lectures, especially those uh, one-liners and points of wisdom coming from Prabhupada. Thank oh. you. Jai. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, right now, all from the group, uh, have, uh, they have been answered. So now I have my hand raised. So please, can I make this some commentaries and some questions? Yes. Yeah. So I would like to relate one, uh, one very sweet pastime of yours and where I was part of it since like about 26 years back, it happened. So you were in Bombay at that time and uh, I'd come to meet you and you were going at that time to some disciple, some devotees home for lunch, prasadam. And precisely I came at that time, he told me, come, come with me in the car, we will talk in the car. And I went with you, accompanied you to that devotee's place. He was a Hindu family, a big family. And then the, <clears throat> they wanted to listen from you. And then you spoke something. And then afterward you said, okay, now I will ask Vinod Vihari Das to speak and say something to you. I, I was totally out, like, you know, surprised. I mean, I was not expecting it. So then at that time, of course, I was not so prepared to say, I don't know what to say at, at what time to which people also requires a bit of, I think, training. You cannot say anything to any anybody at any time. But recently, then at that time, I'd heard the story of uh, how Ravana had kidnapped Sita. So I said a story and I came to a conclusion, like the conclusion that I had heard from the, from the speaker was that we Hindus, many times Hindus are worshiping on the Diwali day, Lord Lakshmi, Lord, uh, the, the Lakshmi Devi. And Lakshmi Devi is like Sita Mata, you no? Know? So if we are having that mentality of worshiping only Lakshmi Devi without worshiping Narayan, so we become non-different from Ravans, actually. So our mentality is Ravana just to have Lakshmi for us. We don't want to have Narayan where we have to serve him also. So we just want, and then at that time you looked at me, I don't know whether you liked it or no, but then I said, I was afraid. I said, did I say something wrong because it was a Hindu family? And it's usual that all Hindus, they, they, they worship Lakshmi and on Diwali day, you know? But then you broke out and broke out laughing, you know, ha ha. And I was okay. I was satisfied that at least I didn't say anything wrong. So there's a yeah. thing I just wanted to uh, yeah. relate out to you, yeah. Nice story. Yeah, what you said was perfectly fine. Yeah. And, uh, Another thing I just wanted to, because I've received some messages from our National Council, from Jyotanathan Maharaj. There's one very nice devotee from our Yatra. He's a good Sankirtan leader. His name is Avesha Rupa. And just recently, he was informed that he's with a terminal cancer and he wouldn't be lasting for long. 
and just two hours back he has left his body so we are just he's seeking your blessings for the devotee yeah I'll pray for him yeah i was informed about him he is a great book distributor very great yes yes and yes. he last few days of his when he was informed immediately he left everything and he came and settled down in the new virja mandala that's a farmhouse that we have in madrid so and this last few days has been like very only connected with the devotees and with the deities and activities of the temple and now they are planning to organize a 24 hour kirtan for him uh, he's kept in the temple room i mean temple reception area and they'll be doing this 24 hours kirtan well thank you for informing us yeah we'll all pray for him for that great devotee his departed soul and mara another thing I, i wanted to comment regarding the past time of sita mata as a in her appearance as maya sita uh, actually i heard one day one class and the speaker was from south india and it seems uh, in south india they believe that uh, sita mata at uh, the elusri sita mata she was actually vedavati in a previous life in the satya yoga and this vedavati was actually attacked by ravana she was like he was going to rape her or something and she was actually a devotee of ramachandra and she cursed him she said if you even touch me you will be cursed and when he touched her he cursed she cursed him they saying in my next life i'll come and burn your whole i mean and create a dist- destruction to your whole clan to your whole and so she came as a maya devi and maya sita to help sita mata and she became the maya sita from the fire because she had curse that she will come and burn up the whole uh, ayodhya i mean the sri lanka no the lanka and then sita mata when she recommended sita ramachandra she says she has been such a great help actually she secured my chastity and 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 i've been saved because of her actually so you should marry her he say i cannot marry in my this life and my next life then when he came at venkateshwara he married her because she appeared as padmavati and as venkateshwara she he married padmavati i don't know this is what the it was uh, from south india i think because they have a slightly different version of rama of uh, rama this is Uh, ramachandra stories no of ramayan i don't know whether it's true or it's not true but sounds nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so if we're going to, yeah who maharas Could you just say something about Janava Devi, a little thing, because also it's today, her appearance day to day. Okay, translate. Eh, si podría contar algo de Janava Devi, que también hoy es su día de aparición, Janava Mata. Yeah, Janava Devi is the uh, eternal consort of Lord Nityananda. Janava Devi is the consort original of Señor Nityananda. Uh, Lord Nityananda has two eternal consorts. Lord Nityananda tiene dos consortes eternas. Uh, Janava Devi and um, Vasudha Devi. Janava Devi, Vasudha Devi. And uh, Vasudha Devi had children, but Janava Devi had no children. Vasudha Devi tenía hijos, pero Janava Devi no tuvo. But Janava Devi became, in a way, the, 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 the leader of the Vaishnavas after uh, Nityananda Prabhu and, and the other associates, you know, Lord Chaitanya and his other associates departed. Janava Devi se volvió la líder espiritual cuando el señor Chaitanya y Nityananda partieron. And uh, there is a major festival. It's like the first Gaur Purnima festival was held at Kateri Gram. 
y el primer festival de Gorpurnin que fue hecho en Keturi Ground. Which is a, a place of Shivanar Tamdas Thakur. Que es el lugar de Narottam Das Thakur. And yeah, Shilanar Tamdas Thakur and um, Srinivas Acharya. Actually, invitations were sent and all the all the leading Vaishnavas came for that uh, Gaur Purnima festival in uh, Keturi Gram. Y todos los Vaishnavas fueron invitados a este festival en Keturi Gram. Todos fueron invitados a uh, Narottam Das Thakur, Srinivas Acharya, todos. And yeah, John, Janava Devi was like the, the leader of all the Vaishnavas. Y Janava Devi era como la líder de todos los Vaishnavas. And uh, she was a very good cook. Y ella muy buena cocinera. She liked to cook for the Vaishnavas. Le gustaba cocinar para los Vaishnavas. And at, the, uh, at that Gaur Purnima festival, she cooked for them. Y en ese festival de Gorpunim ella cocinó para ellos. And um, then she went to Vrindavan, she visited Vrindavan. Y luego fue a Vrindavan y visitó Vrindavan. And uh, there's a place at Radhakund uh, called Janava Baitak, which means like where, where she sat at Radhakund. Y hay un lugar allí en Radhakunda donde se llama Janava Baitak, donde ella se sentaba. And yeah, she's, uh, of course, very merciful. Y por supuesto es muy misericordiosa. So yeah, we can pray for her mercy today. Y podemos también orar por su misericordia hoy. And also, as we have been discussing, see today this mercy. Y como hemos estado discutido por la misericordia también de Simati, Sita Devi. And you know one Janava Devi Dasi. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes, pray for her, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> Anything else? Right now, there are no more comments, no questions. Everyone is satisfied, it seems. Okay. Then we can end with uh, Vaishnava Pranam. Let us offer our respectful obeisances unto all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord, who are just like desire trees who can fulfill the desires of everyone and are full of compassion for the fallen conditioned soul. Anantakoti Vaishnavindi ki jai. Jai. Vina Prabhupad ki jai. So thank you so much, Maharaj. We are very grateful to you and Lord Krishna. And uh, today we had a great opportunity to be having a wonderful evening with you in your presence and receive so many marvelous discourses especially on the topics of Sita Mata. So many of, of her doubts have been cleared. And uh, so we back to Hector for more of these sessions and we'll be greatly obliged by your acceptance. We seek your blessings and Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Jai. So all of us can again unmute and say Hare Bol, Hare Krishna to Maharaj. Thank you so much, Guru 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 Maharaj. Thank you so much, Thank you, Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.
हरी राम हरी राम राम ओके महाराज सो वी बेग योर लीव राइट एंड people also like i suppose they are from other countries from eastern countries they will be even later them yes. so thank you very much and uh, hope to see you soon again yeah. okay hare krishna hare krishna all of you hare krishna hare krishna